Hello everyone and welcome back for to my um, subscriber special. Yeah, I don't really want to say that big title out or whatever. Yeah, it just confuses me. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue this game, shall we? Um, oh, okay. I guess we should uh, see Kano Kitty then, so... I think, yeah, this is her house. So, um... Oh, that music is familiar. Who are you? Oh, I guess she looks familiar. Oh, and apparently we know that, that she is the one that talked to us when our village was attacked by random monsters or whatever. Huh? Okay. Um, I, it seems that she doesn't seem to recognize us or doesn't seem to believe that we are the one you know that she was talking to yeah we basically lost anything in that uh, fire or attack or whatever so um okay let's fight you then Oh, it seems that she has his own battle team, that's kinda cool. So, yeah, let's just go with simple attack and... Yeah. Oh! That didn't do much. Okay, this will be an interesting battle, I guess. Um, do I have anything... Oh! That should be helpful, you know, basically to get give me a physical attack boost. Come on. Don't guard. Oh yeah, critical. Now we can basically um, do more damage to you and you cannot do anything about that. <laughs> How do you like that? Well, she seem seems still to be fine, so yeah, let's just continue with our physical assault. Oh, okay. Energy Blast. Ha! Huh. Missed me. Come on. We can beat you. Well, she can take quite some damage. Oh, guarding again, I guess. Whatever. I don't think that uh, buffs in this game actually stack up, so there isn't really any need to, you know, buff yourself up more times. I don't really know, so whatever. It would make sense to me if they, you know, don't stack up. You know, kinda like in Final Fantasy uh, 1 when you use... Um, what was that? Buff? Oh, I forgot the name of it, but whatever. Um, use kill. Yeah. That This is the most useful skill right now, so... Let's just go with that. I mean, an attack that buffs your physical attack, it's never bad. Or a skill or whatever. So yeah, it seems that it wears out off after a few turns, you know, that's kind of basic. Okay, how lo how many hits can you take? And the guard again. Huh. Are you afraid? Afraid to fight me? Come on. Energy blast. Well, at least I know that she won't guard in this turn. 
Yeah, the battle time seems to be long, but whatever. She's an important character, so I guess that's the reason. She's kinda a boss or something like that, you know? Oh, don't dodge my attacks. Okay, I still have the buff, so let's just go with an attack. Come on, I should make more damage to you. I mean, I have risen my physical attack and all. Okay, let's do that again. She's not even tired so far. And she didn't make any damage to me, which is weird. Huh. I guess I was lucky or something like that. Come on, do another critical. Uh, not you. Oh, and no damage? Oh, and she is tired, apparently. Another critical? Come on. Let me attack. Uh, and now she guards. That's That makes perfect sense. Huh, how come she doesn't make any kind of damage to us? Maybe we have a good shield or something like that. Even though she has the same shield, it seems like it. Okay, that's something, I guess. Her special attacks make damage. And finally, we beat her. Okay. Of course, you can't have a battle without a victory pose. Oh. Yeah, back to this scene. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay, I guess we knew that already, that nobody could have survived that um, fire or monster attacks or whatever you want to call that. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be that easy, you know. We live our whole life in that small town, so it won't be that easy to forget that. Uh, meet you. I guess we don't really have another choice here, other than, you know, following her around. Okay. Castle Hamelot. Huh. I could swear that I heard that somewhere before. Cheap at mine, okay. At least that seems to be, um, you know, our next destination. So, um, yeah, let's just go out. So, yeah, I guess I will head out to um, Chip at Mine. And, yeah, of course, um, Kano Kitty is joined to us, which is good. Huh. I guess I could, you know, take a rest before we head out. And, yeah, is this the end? Nope, this is an item shop. So I guess this one is the end. Oh yeah. Come on. It's kinda weird that we seem to take always a nap and uh, wake up at the morning, you know. I guess that's how it works, yeah. So did we just sleep? Uh, 24 hours or something like that, huh? But whatever. Let's head out to Chipped Mine and see what's around there. If that's how that place is pronounced. Hey, well I hope. Um, yeah, I can. I should be able to see it from here. Yeah, I can see it there. Those tiny rocks 
that you can see in the distance. Yeah, that's the entrance to um, Chippet Mine that basically leads to the plot or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Come on, load a little faster. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, at least that we have a new character on our side. These battles will be a little shorter. And yeah, we clearly saw how strong she was, so... You know, this shouldn't cause that much of a trouble, you know, dealing with these enemies. And I think I, this is the only battle I will show since this is kinda her first appearance in the battle other than you know the battles in um, Chippet Mine since you know in this um, first area here the only these box uh, bugs appear yeah come on finish it there we go yeah see the battles are shorter now but of, of course now we have to uh, share the oral experience with her, which is, you know, still not an issue since we seem to get quite some levels here, or whatever. Enough experience to level up, apparently. So, yeah, you know, kinda nice. Um. I think we are nearly there, so yeah, and there isn't any other place we could go, so yeah. That's what he, we have to do, basically. Yeah. Yeah, of course we had to be interrupted by a random battle or whatever, so yeah, finally we are here. Ah. Uh. Of course, we have a save point here. Okay then, let's continue. Even though this place is not that confusing, but, you know, you can get lost inside here. I don't really want to explore all of, all of the areas here. Who are you? Jack? Oh. So he built this uh, mine, apparently, for, you know, find to find diamonds basically so I guess that's something you know apparently he didn't find any diamonds since yeah of course there are chests around here you know but I don't think that they have anything you know cool or something like that you know um, basically we can buy the weapons that we can get from chest but you know it's not a bad idea to get the chest or something like that you know basically to save up some money oh yeah we have basically the three types of enemies that can attack you here a giant spider a zombie and a skeleton and yeah they can also take quite some damage, as you can see. Basically, um, in this game, the... I guess the undead uh, monsters, or whatever you want to call them, they um, revive themselves after they died once, you know. That's kind of their special ability, so that's... Oh, I am I'm leaving the zombie for last, even though the skeleton should count as an um, undead being, but he doesn't seem to come back. Maybe uh, it's because he has more health or something like that, I don't know. That's how this game works, basically. It's kinda random sometimes. So yeah, finish it! There we go. One more to go. And basically Kanokiti works the same way as the main character does, you know. Basic attacks, some buffs. And that's all, I think. Oh yeah, we have poison. That's not cool. 
I think she has um, something that can heal poison, which is good. And of course, or not really of course, her sword is um, draining MP. And I think even health, I guess, wouldn't really surprise me. That's kinda... I think all of her swords do that, so that's kinda the things that only she can do. Well, she doesn't have that much MP, so it's kinda logical that she would drain MP. You know? Come on, just die. Death touch? Huh. How that doesn't... that that attack doesn't kill us. I kinda hope. Come on, just die. Finish it. There we go. And now it should be up again. Yep. I don't think he has full health again. I think it only has half of his health back, basically. Come on, die. Um, okay. I don't really know how much health it has. Oh, of course it will dodge my attack. Ha! I can dodge as well. Come on, finish it. Hmm, it seems that it has his full health back, so that's kinda odd. Critical, that should finish him. There we go. Of course, we should get uh, quite a lot of experience from this battle. I think. Yeah, of course, we would level up. Oh, shield. Yeah, that's a buff that basically arises our physical defense. Well, that's kinda, um, you know, logical. I don't think we have that much items, so I will just um, use heal to heal up. Oh, she has quite some health going on, which is good. Come on. The only bad thing is that we cannot um, equip Kanukiti's sword to basically the main character. So, yeah. But I guess that would only make us stronger, you know. Okay, that took quite some while to beat all of those zombies off. Um, okay, I can see more ways. Let's go that way. I don't know if that's the right way, though. Huh. Okay, what's up with these dumb zombies here? Seem to attack me like crazy, huh. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, finally! A chest. What's inside that? Heal coin, okay, that's something. Okay, of course, uh, items, a uh, random screen had to pop up. Whatever. Um, hmm. So, maybe the middle way? The middle way should be the right way. Okay, just some spiders. Nothing to be um, worried about, I guess, you know. Use. Oh, it heals us both. That's cool. I don't think it actually does that when uh, we use it in a battle, but it's cool that it does that in the menu. So, yeah. A chest around here. Nope. Yeah, this seems to be the right way, so... Oh, I can see a chest there. Or not. Hmm. Another he healing coin. Oh, two healing coins. That's cool. So it was kind of a good thing that we... Um, that we basically um, chose this way or whatever. Um... So, I guess there is a third way? Yeah, I hope. I 
kind of s am a lost little. Okay, never mind. I guess even in the battle, the healing coin heals us both, so that's a good thing. Oh, we are already on level 8. That's cool. Even though we used quite some MP in these battles. Oh, I think this is where we should heal up. Yeah, I still have a healing coin. Basically to waste before this... Well, it's not really surprising. A boss battle! Oh, that's a new face. Genray? Huh, okay. Nice to meet you, I guess. Yeah, let's help him out. Okay, let's go. So basically this is the um, first boss battle, the troll. So yeah, we have uh, spiders here, zombies and basically a troll as a boss. So I am going to use that on Kano Kitty here since I think she has the highest attack and a little boost you know, wouldn't hurt, I guess. Oh yeah, that makes quite some damage. Well, Genray, not the most useful in this battle since I think he's on level 1. Maybe that will do something. Uh, 7, yeah, as you can see. He is, you know, the weakest, but he's on the lowest level. He's only on level 1, so it's not that much of a deal. So let's basically try and rise his physical attack. Maybe that way we will make more damage. What kind of skills you have? Let's see. Avoidance? Hmm. Yeah, let's use that on Ganray since um, if he gets hit, he takes quite some damage. So yeah, that's not a cool thing, I don't really want to lose him in this battle. Even though he doesn't make that much damage, you know. And of course I will use that to uh, basically buff my physical attack up. Yeah, I cut most of the battles out in this area since, yeah, in the first battle all of the monsters that were in this area were shown. Huh, I guess this skill doesn't use any MP, MP since Genray has no MP and he, he can use that attack, which is cool. Oh, critical and no damage. Makes perfect sense to me. I guess we are uh, on a high level, but I can't really do anything about that since, yeah, that's the high encounter rate is kinda responsible for that, that we gained quite some levels here. Yeah, 7 damage is more than nothing, I guess. Oh! That wasn't nice. Huh. Um, now what? Well, let's hope that he doesn't do that attack on any of my other characters. Just die. Okay. There we go. Yay, win! But of course we don't get any experience from a boss battle, so yeah. But we get some gold. That's nice. Oh, uh, another cutscene, I guess. Um, basically we are just passing by. Yeah. Um, no. We don't really make katanas, so... Other than that... Yeah. <laughs> Peaceful times in the Zabuza area, I guess. Well, except for zombies and monsters and 
skeletons and spiders. And a troll. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, just ask him. Maybe he will join us, you know. Oh, how nice. Yeah, the text is in the, on the fastest speed, you know. If I press the button, that seems to piece, uh, speed the spe uh, text up, which is nice, of course, you know. Yeah, you can always pause the video if you want to read all of this. There is a rope here? Oh, we are outside and we are Kanu Kitty since I think... Um, yeah, we can't revive him. I guess until we get to a church or something like that. Huh. I don't think there is a church ne nearby, but at least we can, you know, get some experience for Genray, which is not bad. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot to do an outro. I just, you know, wanted to save and continue. Well, yeah. That's not going to happen in this episode. You will have to wait and see what is waiting for us in the next episode. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, you know, second part of my subscriber special and I will see you all next time.